Thanks for purchasing a 16A from Motu. Let's take a look at what comes inside the box. In the box, you'll find the 16A interface, the manual and getting started card, the power cord, and a USB cable to connect the interface to your computer. The serial number for your 16A can be found on the bottom of your unit and on the side of the box. You'll need the serial number to register the unit and download optional software, instruments, and loops. For details about how to get these free included assets, watch the next video in this series. Before you get started with your 16A, you'll need to install the driver on your PC. It is best to install the driver before connecting the 16A unit to your PC. The download link is right below this video. After your download completes, find the Motu Pro Audio V2 installer.exe file in your downloads location. Double click it to start the installation. Once you're in the installer, click Yes, Next, Accept, and Install. After it completes, restart your PC. After your computer restarts, connect the power cord to the 16A. Then, connect the 16A to the computer with the appropriate USB cable. If your PC has USB-C ports, use the included USB-C to C cable. If it has USB-A ports, use a USB 3 certified USB-C to USB-A cable, which is sold separately. After connecting the USB cable, power on the 16A. After it's powered up, right click on the speaker icon in the bottom right corner, then click on Sound Settings. In the Output section, click the Stereo Out 1 and 2 Motu Pro Audio V2 option. In the input section, click the stereo in 1 and 2 Motu Pro Audio V2 option. Connect a pair of speakers or headphones to the unit. The main volume knob can be found here. Turn the knob to adjust the volume level, or adjust the headphone volume here. The LCD provides dynamic feedback as you turn the knob. As a precaution, start with a low volume setting. Now, try opening Windows Media Player, YouTube, Spotify, or another music source on your computer. When you hit play, you should now hear the music from the speakers or headphones connected to your 16A. If you don't hear anything, open the QMix Pro app on your computer, go to the Device tab, set the sample rate to 44.1 kHz, and try again. You can also use QMix Pro to change buffer size and other parameters, which will be discussed in the upcoming videos. You're now ready to go. Please watch the next video in this series to get the most out of your Motu 16A. Thanks for watching.